Hi, this video is about AMB tool. AMB tool is used with MicroPython on ESP8266 modules. In this video, I will discuss about usage and installation of AMB tool on ESP8266 modules. AMB tool is created by Adafruit. This is the web page of Adafruit. I will provide the link in description. Here you can see it's a pip tool inst a pip installation. You need pip installed before installing AMB. This I have explained in my previous video. In my previous video, I have explained pip tool installation and how to flash MicroPython bin file on ESP8266 module. Link is in the description. You can check that. AMB supports Python 2.7 or Python 3 only. In my case, I am using Python 2.7. If you are using Python 3, then you will be using pip3 for installation. In my case, I am using Python 2.7. So my command will be pip install adafruit mp. So let's try this command and install this. I'm opening command prompt in admin mode. Pasted the command, ended. It's installing now. Okay, the installation is complete without any error. Now I will use help command to display all supported commands and uh, options. Oops, sorry, I made a mistake. Uh, command for help is mp space double hyphen help. I used a single hyphen. Okay, now all the options and supported, com supported commands are listed. We will discuss these uh, options and commands in detail. Okay, now let's start with options. First option is port. So port is the port number of your USB to serial converter. We can get this number from uh, device manager. I will uh, explain this later. And uh, there is an alt option to set AMP port as an environment variable. So by this, uh, we can um, avoid using port number in every AMP commands. Once you set AMB port as an environment environment variable, you don't have to use port number in all your uh, commands. Uh, we'll discuss that also. Second option is board rate. That is the board rate at which uh, USB to serial converter communicate with uh, uh, ESP8266 module. So that also we can set uh, using an environment variable name. Delay option is not uh, used by uh, programmers. It is used internally by AMB command to enter row mode uh, during row mode, not to enter row mode. During the row mode, uh, this uh, delay option will be used internally by AMB tool. So we don't have to mention this in our command. Version, as the name indicates, uh, version it will display the version of the AMB tool help we already know we have tried uh, help uh, switch to display all the options and uh, commands supported by AMB tool now let's uh, discuss commands first command is get command this command will help us to fetch the script from ESP8266 module initially only one script will be available inside this module that is boot.py uh, later on we can add as much as script uh, we want until the memory allows us so this tool will help us to fetch back all these scripts uh, from the module and we can uh, save this uh, in our local machine also using this same command next command is ls and ls is used to list uh, files in a folder or the board if you cr uh, created a folder, you can use ls to list files inside that folder or else uh, simply you can code ls to list all the files inside that board. 
next is mkdar mkdar you may know it's a make directory so you can use this command to create directory inside the board put command will help us to copy a file from our computer to esp8266 module so using this command we can copy our locally made python script into esp8266 module after copying python script from uh, our computer to a module using input command we can use this reset command to reset the module that way it will start uh, running the newly copied script rm will uh, help us to remove file from uh, esp module and rmdir will help us to remove directly from esp module last command is run run is very useful using run you can uh, run a python script without copying to esp module so you have to simply call run uh, run command with that file name and it will run that uh, script in esp module without copying that file to esp module now let's start coding tutorial first i will try to list uh, all files inside amp i mean uh, using amp i will try to list all files inside esp module so i'll call, use command amp double hyphen port now i have to give the port number it should be com1 com2 something like that open device manager and op expand ports in device manager you will see your usb to serial converter in this uh, category so here you can see my com port is com8 so i'll give com8 here now i'll give the board rate double hyphen board i'm using 115200 okay now command is ls so I have used ls command and it is listing uh, files inside ESP module. Only one boot.py script is available now inside ESP module. So before uh, going to next uh, command execution, I will set ambiport environment variable. I'm not setting board rate as environment variable because uh, by default uh, board rate will be 115200. If you don't use uh, board rate as option, it will by default take 115200 as uh, board rate and uh, execution will happen. So for setting open edit the system environment variables and here click environment variables and uh, click new and add ambi port as an um, environment variable copy ambi port and paste it in variable name now give the value com8 this can change sometimes you have to change this com port 8 to 9 or some other value as per the uh, enumeration happened in your device manager now you can click OK. So ambiport environment variable is ready, and I am going to call. Uh, now you have to close this and reopen command prompt to load that variable environment variable change. Now you can simply use amp and uh, ls command. You can see, yeah, boot.py script is listed. So you don't have to use uh, hyphen double hyphen port option now. Board rate also you don't have to use because board rate by default it will take 115200. Now I am going to fetch this uh, boot.py file. So before that, I will create a working directory for this. Creating uh, mp underscore test directory so we will fetch uh, boot.py file to this directory now we need to change the uh, active directory in command prompt to this one so cd to this directory cd directory location here yeah, now d drive d drive okay so active directory is set to this uh, amb underscore test now I will fetch the content of uh, boot.py first amp space get command space boot.py
so the content is printed now boot.py content now next uh, we will copy this content to a file in our uh, uh, test directory now to copy the content from boot.py to our local directory uh, we will use command mb get uh, boot.py pipeline uh, signal and boot.py so this will copy all the content from esp modules uh, py script to our local script so here you can see in the folder we got a boot.py script created and all the data all the content from uh, a module uh, boot.py script is copied to this uh, uh, local boot.py script Uh, next uh, we will create a script on our computer and uh, we will run that uh, script on ESP module using run command so I am creating a script here I, use, uh, I am using print function to print the hello world and I will save this as uh, python script dot py script so, yeah. okay now I'll save this as uh, test.py I'm saving this in uh, our test directory mb underscore test test.py now the script is ready so we'll run this script on ESP8266 module from our computer without copying it so our command will be mp space run space test dot py mp space run space test dot py now click enter yeah you can see hello world uh, printed here so this is printed by esp module so our script is working we are able to run the script uh, on ESP module I'm going to edit it, edit this script to control LED uh, in the ESP module so I'm importing machine to configure a pin function so pin underscore LED I will set this as uh, pin number 2 and I will configure pin number 2 as output so you can see the command here pin led equal to machine dot pin give the pin number 2 comma machine dot pin output yeah. so this command will set uh, uh, pin number 2 as output already in the module pin number 2 is connected with led so pin is connected to uh, cathode negative side of the led so if you want to turn on the LED you need to set the pin to low that is uh, you need to set the pin off so I will call pin dot off sorry you have to call LED pin underscore LED dot off this will turn off the pin and uh, by that time LED will be turned on because the LED will get a negative connection in the cathode so script is ready now i will run the script using python uh, mb run command you can see in the right bottom corner now i am going to run the script yeah you can see led is glowing now Now I will edit this script to create a blinking effect using a while loop. Before that I will call reset command to stop LED from glowing. Now the LED is turned off you can see. 
let's uh, edit the script uh, using a we'll create a while loop to turn on and off LED alternatively Our script is ready. Now we can copy this script to ESP module. We are not going to run the script from our computer. We are going to run the script from ESP module after copying it using put command. But before copying the script, we need to rename the script from test.py to main.py because only main.py script name will be called by boot file. After copying uh, main.py file, you can call any other file name from main.py file, but uh, uh, the first uh, main function should be main script should be named as main.py script. So I will rename this uh, test.py script as main.py and then we will copy the main.py script to ESP module. Renaming is done. Now we will uh, copy this main.py script to ESP module using put command. Here you can see put, put command. Now our cam, uh, full command will be amb space put space main.py. Click enter now. Now we will do uh, we will list uh, using ambient space ls. Now you can see inside the ESP you can see two files boot.py and main.py. So our main.py is pushed into ESP module using put command. Now to run that uh, we will call reset command and we reset. So you can see the LEDs blinking in the right bottom corner you can see the ESP module LEDs blinking now next we will quickly check uh, file remove command also to remove this main.py file from ESP module so the command will be amb space rm space main.py now click enter so yeah the command is executed and the file will be removed we will list the files in files in ESP module using ls command and ls you can see only one uh, boot.py file is available in uh, ESP module now that's it guys thanks for watching this video for more videos like this uh, please uh, like share and subscribe to my channel